This week at Microsoft Ignite, they announced that Microsoft Copilot is coming to Mac, and I'm going to show you how you can access it right now from your MacBook. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to Safari, and we're going to go to copilot.microsoft.com. And even though they've made the announcement saying that Copilot is available for Mac, you will possibly get hit with this message right now saying your browser currently does not support Copilot. That's okay, because I reckon I'll clear that up in the next couple of days. But while we're here, I'm going to show you how you can install Copilot on your Mac. So in Safari, with the new feature, we're going to actually go over into the top right-hand corner of Safari that has the little share icon. We're going to select on this, and then we're going to share Copilot by scrolling down and going Add to Dock. This is going to install it as a web-based application, which means that when you're connected to the internet, you can also access Microsoft Copilot and have it in your dock. So let's add this in right now. So you can change the name and you can change the address of it. Uh, I'm happy with both of these and it shows you the logo that's going to appear. And I'm simply going to go add. You can see Copilot has appeared in my dock down the bottom. And if I go into all applications, Copilot is going to appear there as well. Right now, of course, copilot.microsoft.com isn't working on the Safari browser, but that's okay because if you want to actually try this out for yourself right now, you can use Microsoft Edge where it does work. But I reckon in a couple of days from this video coming out, the Copilot uh, app will also work through Safari. But just to show you what it looks like already on your Mac, I've got it here loaded up. We're going to go back to copilot.microsoft.com and you're going to be greeted with this page here. Copilot is adding more and more features every single day. And you can see here, there are quite a few creative suggestions at the top where you can compare, create, and add chat. You can organize, there's so many things here. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of actually how to use this. But of course, I do recommend playing around with it for yourself. Um, you can use some of these prompts to get started with it, such as give me a list of new hobbies. Uh, let's open that up. So you can see here, it's starting to generate uh, some hobbies to do with your free time. But I'm going to stop that for now and help you understand a bit more about Copilot and the layout as well. So of course, you've got your conversational style, like with most AIs. You can create a new topic by uh, simply selecting on the new topic option in the bottom left-hand corner. This is going to scrub the chat and let you start again. Along with the prompts up the top here, down the bottom, you can actually choose a conversational style too. You can make it more creative or it's going to give you a bit more of a creative fun flair. You can have it more balanced where it's going to have some creativity, but also a bit more accuracy. And then of course, you can go more precise, which is going to be a more straightforward conversation. Uh, down the bottom, of course, you also have a few prompts. And in the chat section, where you can actually type in your questions to it, there's a few cool things here as well. So you can use the ask me anything option, and this is where you can ask it basically anything. And it will allow you to have a conversational style um, interaction with the AI. I'm going to stop responding though, just to walk you through this and show you some of the features here. So you can choose to like or dislike its response. You can choose to copy it and paste it somewhere else. You could export that response. So if you were creating some sort of table, uh, you could export it. Or you could, on a Mac, hit continue on phone and send this straight to your phone. Uh, in the input box where you can actually type, there's also a few other ways of interacting with Copilot. You can choose to upload an image or take a photo from your device, which means you can actually paste in an image or upload one or take a photo and actually ask questions about that image. Or if you don't want to um, upload an image or type into it, you can also use your microphone to ask it prompts as well. So I'm going to allow access to the microphone. Create me an image of a microphone. So I've asked it to create me an image of a microphone. This uh, ties into not only ChatGPT, but also DALI. I'll try to create that. Thank you. Which is an image generation tool. And because I spoke into the computer, it actually responds back in tech, uh, in voice. As you heard, it says, I'm going to try and create that. So there's a few different ways here that you can actually interact with Microsoft Copilot. Uh, and I can only see this becoming a more and more useful feature and tool. The images of the microphone here are really quite cool. I love that. But also down the bottom, you can see it gives us a few prompts. So can you make it look more vintage? What other musical instruments can you uh, draw. Can you create an image using Python? Let's actually try this middle one. So 
So now I'm just using its own prompts to actually create and interact with the uh, Copilot AI. Um, but there you go. That is how you can use Microsoft Copilot on your Mac. At the start of this video, I did show it not working in uh, Safari, but you can use Microsoft Edge right now. And I also showed how you can install it as an app in the dock. I'd recommend going ahead and installing in the app in the dock as an application. Uh, and I reckon within a couple of days from now, that error that we are getting accessing it via Safari is going to be fixed up by Microsoft. Um, but let me know what you guys think about Microsoft Copilot in the comment section down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're going to supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.